Happy new release day, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with the brand new 2019 Diamond Kings Baseball. 12 box, pick your team number one. It's an inner case from that big master case right there. Big thanks to, first off, all these folks right here for getting into pick your team number one. Jared K, last bought mojo with the Twins. And thanks everybody else for getting into it. All right, now let's see which case we're going to do right here. So you see right here, you can't really see right here. I marked it L and R for left and right. So there's L right there. And there's R right here for left and right. Now we'll roll the die, figure out which one we're gonna do, and use that one right there. So one, two, three, four, L for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this we will do next time. Getting ahead of myself. Pick your team two. All right, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, apparently they added some downtown cards in here. Um, I really like the, those downtown cards. <laughs> Seems like everyone else does too. People are saying that they sell pretty decently on the secondary market. I guess in all sports. All right, so there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. Right here, so here's our helicopter shot. Yes, sir, Rory. This is uh, you're just in time. This is pick your team one. Right. I'm sure someone will still ask TJ. I'm sure, but no veteran base will ship, but almost everything else will. Russ Hall. Are these first off the line? Did they even do first off the line for Diamond Kings? Uh, the answer is no, but. No, it's not. It would say we will. First of all, we would say we would indicate that on the uh, on the item description. But yeah, even if we did, we would we would certainly we would certainly let everybody know in like the in the item description or the title. Oh, they did do a first off the line? I'm not really on that first off the line train yet. Oh, all cards, all cards numbered 101 to 150, 
our short prints. There you go. It's a note for the shipping team right here. All right. Let's go. So obviously stuff like Luis Urias will ship. That's a that's a rookie card. J.D. Martinez won't ship unless he's a short print, which he is not. So there you go. Obviously these frames will all ship. Those are not numbered. It's a different color there. That's pretty cool. That's an, That's like an insert, so that will ship. Well, and Ryan flashback, these will ship. And wow, right out of the gate. Fernando Tatis Jr. Woo! That'll ship. That'll ship. Corey K with the Padres. What a start. I mean, he's he's pretty much going to be NL Rookie of the Year, right? Portraits, Mookie Betts. Luis Ortiz. So that's card 108, so that will ship as well. And it's a rookie card too, so it would ship anyway. Gallery of Stars, Mike Trout. Brooks Robinson, frame. There's Shoei Otani, heirs to the throne. Ricky Henderson. There's that. There's that thick car that that TJ spotted. Let's see what this is all about. How many hits per box are there? Two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Clemente. Nolan Arenado. Ryan's can't watch this break. Oh, you're going to miss my secret break credit code that I'm going to drop at some point in this break. <laughs> or maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Who knows? It's nice. Dennis Santana. He just got called up. 35 out of 99 dual relic for the Dodgers. Who's got my Dodgers? Scott Cooper has my Dodgers. Nice. All right, nice. Next box. Mr. Mike's Daddy, is there more loaded? You haven't been on the site today. I think it's, now is a good time to go to the site, Mr. Mike's Daddy. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen. See there. Did I miss an artist proof card? The shipping team will catch you, Patrick Goodwin. Sorry. Yeah, folks, it's kind of a longer break, so I gotta I gotta go even faster than I'm doing going now. But if I if I miss something, our shipping team will be sure to catch catch anything. We'll, I'm, I will almost. Absolutely catch the hits though. Those we will not miss.
All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. Gallery of Stars, Shoei Otani. Oh yeah, these there's the art there's the artist proof card right there. Yeah, these will these will certainly ship. They're also part of that too. There's Larry Do are these variations, is that why they're turned around like that? There's Ramon Loriano. His defensive exploits have been well documented lately. He's pretty good. This guy's pretty good too, Nolan Arenado. And there's Andrew Benintendi, jersey and autograph. Nice. That'll be for the Red Sox, Paul Whitlock. Gotcha. It's an image variation if a low numbered base. All right, so that's why I held on to these guys off to the side. These cards, this this set seems kind of cool too. I like this old set right here. An old vintagey sort of look. You got here Molina. Kind of looks like these old old like tobacco cards, right? And Al Kaline is your dual relic. That is out of 49. Oh, they give you pretty heavy card stocks on these. Nice. Bryce Harper frame. Still national ed edition on that one. Next box. All right, good luck, folks. We got some baseball for you today. We got we've got Yankees and Astros on MLB Network right now. The Braves Rockies game was postponed due to weather. There are, I think there are a few games that are settled already. Tigers beat the Indians. They pounded 12 hits off the Indians. Score four runs, four to one. Tigers. Rays beat the White Sox nine to one. Padres beat the Giants three to one. A's have already put a five spot on the Orioles in the top of the fourth. Nationals leading three nothing early in the game, in the second inning against the Phillies. Twins with an early one nothing lead on Noah Syndergaard. They put. They did work against DeGrom yesterday, and they have an early run against Syndergaard already. Astros, Yankees are tied at one. I think a homer apiece. Oh, sorry. I think a homer apiece for both of those teams. What else is going on today? I think my Dodgers started too. Oh, Marlins le leading the Reds 1-0 in the fourth inning, and uh, Dodgers-Cardinals just started. There's Jacob Nix. Colton needs me to work uh, work uh, my, my magic. He needs some Braves out of here. It's Goldschmidt. Oh, Brett Gardner missing 
fly ball. That's extra bases. That's a triple. Trey Joe Kelly, yeah, the Dodgers have uh, Dodgers have three losses this season, three or four losses, or four now. They lost yesterday. I think, and all, and Joe Kelly has three losses. So what does that tell you? Joe Kelly accounts for almost all the losses. There's the autograph, and it's Garrett Hampson. 89 out of 99. You can see the, team, the player name right up there. For the Rockies. It's interesting. I kind of like that look right here. That artwork right there. That'll go to the Rockies. Eric Leal with the Rocks. Joe Kelly, as some of you may know, Dodgers fans especially, plunked Hanley Ramirez, right, in the ribs or something like that in a an important playoff game. There's Daniel Murphy, Mets edition. You know, and I think that really affected the Dodgers' playoff chances from that game on. Then beat the Dodgers as a Red Sox last year. And now he gets paid, paid a big contract, and he's not playing well at all. Rex, what's going on? Rory, you're giving up on this break already? Uh, you, I'll, I'll buy the team off of you. What do we, we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll prorate it. I'll buy the Brewers back. All right, next box. Actually, we'll do the top layer of boxes first. So yeah, I'm a little traumatized by by Joe Kelly right now. I don't know, he, there must be an extraordinary amount of pressure. He's a Southern California guy, so he he was born he he was uh, raised born and raised here in Southern California. Went to high school out here. So the, the Dodgers have always been his hometown team. Now he got a big contract. You know, I'm sure he's putting an ex extraordinary amount of pressure on himself. And it just hasn't been working out. Nice, Brandon. You got my dodge for break two. Excellent. <laughs> Colton has a question. I have a question. Is Chili Davis or Chili Davis? Is Chris Davis? Chili Davis, hitting coach in New York. Is Chris Davis trolling the Orioles or is he just that bad? Man, that's another. That's another thing about pressure, right? That's in his head. <laughs> Joe Kelly is Joe P's favorite player. Uh, no, it's just it's just in his it's in his head at this point. You know, every at bat that goes by, he's just forcing it. Is he still hitless? I don't know. We'll see. I think that game that game is in progress. Well, the Orioles have no hits, so <laughs> he's not even in this game. No, he's not even playing today. Still striking out somewhere. Still striking out somewhere. Vlad Guerrero Jr., autograph, jersey and auto. Jr., who's uh, recovering from an oblique injury, I think recently moved up to AAA. So he was rehabbing a little bit in single A. Now he's getting his AAA work. There it is. Nice one for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Juan. Wow, that is cruel, Jason Jaspi. He's saying in the chat, Heard he hasn't gotten a hit in batting practice either. Savage. Savage. There's his dad, Vlad Guerrero Sr. 
And that's an out of 25, 2 out of 25, Cal Ripken Jr. flashback. That's for the Orioles. That'll be for Allen. And there's Luis Ortiz for the Orioles. That is not numbered, but you get a dual relic there. Another one for Alan Myers and the O's. Check the corners on which one. Is he the one? Is who the one? And Rex, I think a lot of some some other folks were mentioning some issues with their shipments as well. There's Joey Votto. I think the Postal Service didn't, didn't scan our paperwork one day. And so updates haven't been... And they haven't been scanning them at the other stops too. So the updates have been a little wacky for at least one or two days of orders. There's Junior right there. All right, next box. Actually, let me set that aside right here. I'm going to save these two for, for picture time. At Jaspies Breaks is our Twitter. At Jaspies Breaks, our Instagram, you'll be able to see some, uh, some of the big hits posted there. Chris Davis. That's just in his head. Where else is Chris Davis striking out? <laughs> you think he's like, he's going, he goes to like, he goes to like the bar and he's just like, Hey, saying hey to the ladies, striking out there too. He goes to his favorite, favorite, favorite bagel place. And he's like, ah, oh, can I have an everything bagel? Sorry, we're all out. Strikes out there. Just nothing, go nothing going his way. Strikes out on getting a uh, a good parking spot. That home loan he applied for strikes out. Where else is he striking out? Oh yeah, what cards was what cards was Vlad Guerrero Jr. throwing around? I don't think it was this. That was a sticker auto, so. He wasn't throwing those around. <laughs> right. Pulls open the pulls open the fridge. Eat some cereal. No milk. Like he's he's shaking the carton. No milk. Strikes out there. Poor Chris Davis. Yeah, is that a is that a case for PEDs? That's it's got to be right. I think this Chris Davis is doing fine. Chris with a K. Yeah, I think it's N and Rory saying it was NT. We'll keep an eye out for uh, for those when NT and Flawless come out.
And there's Rowdy Tellez. This one's numbered. 22 out of 25. Focus. There we go. Did, did yes. like no did was there not like a panini representative was I like you're was, not supposed to do this? All right. Next box. Well, thanks, take a shower. Appreciate it. I think his uh, his strikeout streak, or his strikeout streak, his, his hitless streak also goes back to last season, right? How do we feel about um, streaks? Do they do they cross seasons? This is a big conversation about Whit Merrifield, right? He's got thirty hits in a row, but I think like a good chunk of it is from last season. So in a if we're talking DiMaggio, right, which I think is one of those records that'll that may never be broken, but does that count? No, right? I think it counts as a different record. But I think records like that have to be contained within within a season. Otherwise, why not have why not have like home run records crossover, right? I think they're two different things. Joe DiMaggio is within one season and whatever Whit Merrifield does it's over across two different seasons. It's probably almost harder to do it over two different seasons, to be honest. But um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, this is box six, so we're halfway there. Got about another thirty minutes to go. Yeah, these breaks, each of these 12 box are about a solid hour, folks. No downtown yet. There's a dual relic and autograph for the Astros. That's Framber Valdez. John, do you happen to know... Um, if the downtowns are supposed to be one per inner case or one per master case, or if it's just, or it's just random, they're not really by case or anything like that, or what? There's Michael Kopech, dual relic for the White Sox. That'll be for Adam Wilson. Johnny Bench, frame. Dennis Santana. Jay has heard one per 24 boxes. So approximately one per master case then. Right. Well, we'll look for one, we'll find him. There's Aaron Judge. There's Altuve, who just hit a home run. It was under review. They had to took a look at it, made sure that it hit whatever mark there is out there. All right, next box. Well. How are my picks doing today, folks? I had financial interest in the Indians with Trevor Bauer on the mound. Nope, they lost to the Tigers. I had financial interest in the White Sox. They were underdogs. Thought they had a chance though at home. 
home dog. They lost to the Rays. I had financial interest in slight favorites, the Giants. But they lost by a little bit to the Padres. So now I'm counting on the the Nationals, who are up 3 nothing, But still early in the game. Their bullpen's not very good, so hopefully they'll score more runs. So I got financial interest in the Nationals over the Phillies. I've got financial interest in the Twins over the Mets. I think the Twins still have a narrow lead, slim lead in the bottom of the fourth. one nothing. They're in New York. And I have financial interest in the Yankees. They're playing right now. Slight, fit, slight dogs. Financial, financial interest in the Angels. Who are playing late, later tonight, which I think now in retrospect is a bit of a mistake. I forgot that Mike Trout left the game early yesterday. And I don't think he's playing today. Being precautionary. Precautionary reasons. Groin strain or something like that. Yeah, someone, someone mentioned that yesterday. Either, uh, and Eric mentioned it, I think. Eric O or Eric Bailey. Is that a true story? Or, or is it, does it seem scammy? Not scammy, but like just trying to get views. Right, load management for... Uh, load management for... Uh, for Mike Trout. Yeah, these take about an hour, Ryan. So, if you guys want to do more of these, we got to get these. Got to start getting spots early and often. Otherwise, we'll quickly run out of time. Just FYI. There's Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew, 88 out of 99. There you go. It's Corbin Burns. Rory with the Brewers. I wish Rory would have sold that team back to me. He was convinced that he was going to go hitless. Convinced. We were only on, like, box two. Oh, remember Dontrell Willis, the D-Train? Here's JT Real Muto. And the, the thick hit right here. Those are those cards. The thick hit right here is... Josh James for the Astros. 16 out of 99. All right. Next one. Good luck. I apparently Colton. Colton's like, I'm gonna go hitless. I know it. Is that how it works to get hits? Apparently. I guess it, it works for Rory at least. I always lean. I always lean towards being positive. But I guess Rory feels as if he has to go negative to get hits. No, Rex, you don't like the you don't like that Ty Cobb was in a hanger pack from Walmart? I think it's great. That kid's hooked now. Whoever whoever got that, hooked. Going from hanger packs to hobby boxes. And then discovering group breaks. And then discovering the best group breakers. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. There you go. See? Hobby has grown. Oh, 
Yeah, I guess Rory, yeah, Rory's trying Rex's old reverse psychology trick. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, and five boxes left. So we're a little over halfway there. Should be finishing in about 25 minutes or so. Good luck, everybody. There's Jesus. There's Jason Giambi. Rex, you're saying that it should be in a hobby box? I think that's what everyone wants. <laughs> There's Jeff McNeil, 56 out of 99 for the Mets. But I don't know, you got to throw those retail packs of bone too every once in a while, right? And there may be someone else who thinks, oh, maybe I'll find that in a retail pack. And then maybe they'll be like, oh, well, maybe I can get better hits in a hobby box. Maybe I'll do group breaks. Maybe I can do better in a full case of stuff. Next thing you know, the hobby grows. One by one. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't think I've seen that. Crowning moment, but in a frame. Obviously, those will ship. Those are considered inserts. You'll you'll realize, folks, once you get your shipments in, even though Vet Base doesn't ship most of these, there'll be a lot more. There'll be a lot of cards being shipped to you, whether they're hits or not. You'll still get a nice stack of stuff. Oh, thanks, Colton. Appreciate that. Diamond Deco is my one one of my favorite ones, right? I guess kissing up maybe does get you hits, Colton. That was a good shot. There you go, man. Colton with the Atlanta Braves on the board finally. With the Diamond Deco, Ronald Acuna Jr. These Diamond Decos actually are one of my favorite inserts out of here. Nice, I like how they kind of set those relics up nicely too. Is this, is this numbered? No, not numbered, but still pretty cool. No, I know you. Thank you, Colton. Nice Acuna. Well, I think by all accounts, it started off the the, the season pretty hot, right? I'm playing pretty well. Picking up right where he left off. All right, next box. All right, the uh, second inner case, well, we're almost done with this, actually. The second inner case, ladies and gentlemen, down to four teams. Pick your team two is down to four. Remember, that's going to take another hour, so get all these in before uh, we start running out of time. We've got the Cubs, $29.99. Marlins, $7.99. Mets, $34.99. Uh, and Rays, 1299 So get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Dansby Swanson playing well, too. I think Dansby Swanson showing a little bit with the bat, too. I think we always knew his glove was good. But Dan Dansby Swanson showing a bit of that bat, showing why he's number one overall pick. You know, because he's, you know, pro projected to be a good hitter. Good glove guys don't get into uh, don't get the number one spot. They don't get picked number one. Yeah, the starting pitching may be a little bit of a concern, but they do have some good youngsters there. I mean, I guess that that might be their gamble. If if those if those young guys, Max Fried, Kyle Wright, you know, who, who are who are getting starts now. I mean. They turn out to be 
turn out to have good seasons, you know? Everyone was criticizing them for not getting starting pitching in the offseason. That could be huge savings right there. Right, Fulton Evich is coming back off of an injury. And you still have uh, Tuki Toussaint. If you can get those walks under control, Tuki Toussaint could be right up there striking people out left and right. There's Kyle Tucker for the Astros. Nice. That is for James and the Strohs, who are leading the Yankees right now 2-1. There you go. Astros farm system is so deep, they can't find a place for Col Kyle Tucker to play regularly. Isn't that crazy? And he's a he's a big prospect too. There's San Diego edition of Manny Machado. And we've got Ichiro, Mariner's Edition. That dual relic is for Corey Riley with the M's. Game used material as well. That's pretty cool. There's Kyle Tucker again right there, that frame. All right, next box. Yeah, why is where where's Dallas where's Dallas Keuchel gonna go? Craig Kimbrell is unsigned too. You know what I think the Braves should do? Braves should just go ahead and get Dallas Keuchel and go ahead and get Craig Kimbrell. That'd be pretty strong. Uh, Rex saying off topic, but uh, off topic I know. But did you guys see where the astronomers got the first image of a black hole? I did. I thought that was pretty cool. We're all about Jaspies is all about knowledge, Rex. Especially, especially space. And I think it's pretty cool. They took a bunch of satellite images from from uh, telescope stations all around the world, and they got a they got a bunch of images of this black hole, and um, do you see that photo where this uh, one one of the one of the, the researchers she had a photo in front of like like three or four racks of hard drives which. Probably had like 12 hard drives each or something like that in there. Like they 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 had they had all of that, and uh, they had to transport all the image data there to put it to put together all the pictures. But we, we saw we saw black hole we saw the black hole in uh in Interstellar. Right? Christopher Nolan, Interstellar. With uh with McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. There's Dennis Santana autograph. 64 out of 99. He just got called up. I think a few days ago. That's right, Colton. We live in a world where, where we're getting pictures of actual black holes and Chris Davis still doesn't have a hit. Chris Davis probably tried to watch images of that, but the website wouldn't work for him. Struck out there. 
<laughs> Just taking a picture of his bat. That's a black hole. That's a black hole. Jarrett saying, what? he's thinking maybe maybe a Allen and Ginter black hole card. That'd be pretty cool. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr., another relic. We gotta find his autograph now. Two color dual relic for Colton and the Braves. All right, two box to go. We're almost there. And it looks like we've got uh, a collegiate multi-sport break sold out. And a black diamond break sold out. And Diamond Kings 2, the second inner of this case, still has four teams left. We should get that knocked out too. Cubs are only $29.99, Cubs fans. Marlins only $7.99, low risk. Potential high reward if you get a nice nice one of one or something like that. Even if you get like a hit or two. I'll cover that eight bucks pretty quickly. Mets are $34.99. Go get the Mets. Rays are $12.99. And that's it. We're, all the expensive teams are gone. So give that a shot. And Vinny also saying there's only six teams left in 2017 National Treasures Baseball. Let's get that out of the way too. Might as well. Get them all done. Yeah, Colton, I do too. I, I, as I was saying in the Court Kings breaks, I, I like the Kings series. Gridiron Kings, Court Kings, Diamond Kings. So, it's not for everybody, but for the people who like it, they really do like it. And there's a lot of fun inserts too, and a lot of sets to build, and you know, a lot of frame sets to chase, a lot of fun inserts. So it's kind of fun to open up, too, if anyone ends up getting a box for themselves. But good time. Whoa, what is this? Another Corbin Burns for Rory and the Brewers. 74 out of 99. Two for Rory? Caleb Ferguson, who's been working with uh, Sandy Koufax on his curveball, and has now become a pretty great, pretty great uh, setup guy, possible high leverage guy for the Dodgers this season. There's Jonathan Scope, Orioles edition, out of 99, 39 out of 99, two color dual relic, Alan Myers with the O's. box. Good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 1. Pick Your Team 4. Or, sorry, Pick Your Team 2 only has four teams left. Let's go and get it. That's the second half of the Master Case that we popped open. And we have not seen that downtown card yet, which apparently sells pretty well in a secondary market. I always love those downtown cards. You know, you get one of the big names. 
That'll be great. I think Johnny O was saying earlier that uh, there's only 10 players on that downtown checklist. Punisher Prime, what's going on? We got both Vincents in the house. Uh, Vinny H. And then Punisher Prime, Vincent. I'm doing good. New release day. Getting into it. Getting after it on new release day. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team one. Almost in the books. There's Eloy Jimenez, dual relic for the White Sox. Adam Wilson with the White Sox. This is, is this your your AL Rookie of the Year right here? Justice Sheffield, Mariners edition. There's Matt Chapman. Oh, nice, Vince. Good. I'm glad I got there safe and sound. Let's get a little focus right here. Yeah, there we go. And we've got Steven Duggar. 20 out of 99 for the Giants. Robert Edwards with little Oppo Joe Mojo. That is false, Vinny. I've pulled, I've pulled two Corbin Burns autographs for Rory today out of this case. The hate is no longer there. Nothing but love. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, that is that. No randomizers, nice clean break, nice fun stuff. Plenty of new blanks for me to draw Lushy McBears on, so other cartoon characters. So we got all that too. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you for the next Pick Your Team break, brand new, Diamond Kings Baseball, jazbeescasebreaks.com.